Welcome to NAB Show New York. On an immersive show floor full of cutting edge companies, you'll find solutions and discover alternative workflows in a whole new way. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Paul of PTZ Optics. Good to see you. Hi, thanks for stopping by. Yes, thank you for having me. So tell me, Paul, about this PTZ controller. Yes, so PTZ Optics is really well known for our PTZ cameras, but of course, every PTZ camera needs a good controller. And at PTZ Optics, we offer a variety of free solutions. Uh, we have our brand new camera management platform, which is free for Mac, PC, and, and Linux computers. We have smartphone apps that you can use directly on your smartphone. Uh, so we have a lot of awesome, we have plugins for OBS and vMix and some of the most popular live streaming software actually have pan, tilt, zoom, controls built in. And that's actually really nice because if you are a director or a producer, you can just use your vMix and you don't have to take your eyes off the screen. You know, your video switching and controlling PTC cameras all in one. But as your productions grow and you get more cameras, a lot of our customers are looking at getting PTZ camera joystick controllers, right? So this here is our PTZ Optics Super Joy. We call it the Super Joy because it's our super higher end one. Now by high end, it's $900, so it's still less than a thousand, it's very affordable. But our PTZ Optics Super Joy has become the top selling PTZ joystick controller in the world, and the reason why is because it's not only is it NDI compatible, so it works with any NDI camera, but we've also built in support for Sony, Panasonic, and any camera that supports Sony, which would be like Marshall and Bird Dog, and there's a, a long list. So we really feel confident when we say our joystick controllers now can control pretty much any PTZ camera. Um, they can even support OnVIF cameras, which are security cameras. But we're talking about broadcast, we're talking about production, and the PTZ Optics SuperJoy has a lot of really great features that I want to talk about. One of them is basic mode. We have a work with a lot of houses of worship that, you know, it's a volunteer. They're not going to be doing any of the crazy advanced features. In fact, you don't want them messing with the colors and the different things. So we have a basic mode for that. The other thing that we have is we have custom buttons that you can use to program and do control of any device on your network. So we can control vMix, we can control the lighting. We can even turn off and on auto tracking. So one of the really cool things, I'll hit a button here, one of our custom buttons. And what it's going to do is it's going to call auto tracking. And I think it's going to get you, Ashley. See the, see the little box around you, Ashley? And what that will do is that will, uh, so from our joystick controller, you can be following someone, tracking someone on stage and say, you know what? I have to do something else now. Click the auto track button and then the camera will just automatically track that subject. So from a workflow perspective, it's, it's really interesting. I've been doing this for a long time. To see somebody be able to, you know, the whole point of PTZ cameras is that you can have a single person controlling multiple cameras. It used to be every, there was one camera, you need a person to control that camera. So if you had a four camera shoot, you need four people. Now, one single person can operate four cameras easily. And now that the cameras can automatically follow the subject, it's interesting to see have a couple cameras positioned just right, how you need it, and then have a couple cameras, you know, auto tracking and auto following. So it's really interesting to see the automation uh, side of production. Now, is some of that involved the presets? Yes. So PTZ camera presets is basically a saved position. So if you pan, tilt, and zoom and create, and I'll show you one here, uh, I'll stop tracking. What you can do is you can zoom into a specific location, hold a preset, and it saves that PTZ preset so you can recall that camera. So if you have three or four cameras, you could have one camera go to the left, one camera to go to the right. The other thing we're doing, I'm glad you asked about the presets, is a super preset. <laughs> it's a super joy. We invented something called the super preset. What does that do? Let's say you have four PTZ cameras and you have a play going on, right? I don't know if you see, sometimes plays will have like a stage over here and a stage over there. Well, what you can do is you can click one super preset button and have all four cameras switch to one side of the stage or one side of the right. So like in a church, you might have a normal kind of setup for your stream, but then there's a baptism. Well, now click one button, all the cameras are ready for the baptism. So it's a way to quickly change scenes uh, with PTZ camera presets. So it's another good example. And I've heard you have Dante, is that right? Tell me about Dante. Yeah. So a lot of people don't realize that Dante now has video. 
So we have the PTZ Optics Move 4K cameras, which are our NDI version, and now we have the Link 4K, which is our Dante version. Um, Dante is really well known in audio. Here we are at the NAB New York show, but right across the hall is the Audio Engineering Society. Dante is really well known for audio. They now have video, and PTZ Optics is one of the first pan tilt zoom cameras that supports Dante video. Very exciting. So it's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Yeah. This was so much fun. So much fun. Thanks, everybody.